Hey there, Hog Nerd here, and I wanted to talk about the new two characters that were officially announced on the Genshin Impact Twitter, which was Baiju and Kabe? Or Kabe? I'm gonna go with Kabe for now. If not, if that's not how you pronounce it, apologies, but we'll have to continue with that. But for now, when it comes to Kabe, or uh, little Baiju, apologies. But when it comes to Baiju, as you, we've what seen his character since I'm gonna say release, because I believe Liyue was released with Monstat. Pretty much those two were the beginning maps, I believe. I could be wrong though. But aside from that, kind of cute kind of curious on one his weapon's gonna be two i'm assuming he's gonna be a healer but it could be wrong i kind of doubtful though because the dude works at a pharmacy but oh well if he isn't a healer and somehow like i don't know like a dps or some dps i don't mind i'll, I'll be confused as to why but oh well but I'm pretty confident this dude's gonna be a healer. So, we'll see what type. Is he just gonna be a full, like, a full healer? Or a full purpose healer? Like, just healing in general? Or is he also gonna have, like, other mechanics? For instance, like, healing, debuffing the enemy, or lowering the resistance when it comes to dendro, or hyper blooms, or whatnot. But we'll have to see when it's officially released, which honestly, I have no idea when, but oh well. As for the second character, Kabe. I don't really know much about him since I have yet to do the whole main story quest and whatchamacallit, what's his name, I'll hate them story as well. But. I'll have to catch up and see what's a fuss about because a lot of people like him and I'm like huh I mean character design I can see why they like him personality wise I'm not sure what we'll see I think I've maybe heard like a few voice lines when I was finishing the last story quest which was we successfully what you call it? We were able to defeat the scientists or scholars or whatnot, but Nahida was finally released, and and then he ends up popping up for a bit. Although I did see the trailer, I think maybe if not, I have to revisit it in the future. But oh well. But anyways, rumor was going around, and I caught wind of it which was supposedly the dude's gonna be a claymore user caught me off guard but i was like hey shoot i don't mind but we'll have to see what type is it gonna be a shield like a dendro shield because when it comes to shields i think there's only a few elements that have it i know pyro has at the very least two hydro I don't think Hydro has any. Yeah, Hydro does not have any shielder. It's only either been either a healer or sub DPS, or at best a DPS. Because I think we only have two main DPSs, which is Child and Hayato. When it comes to Dendro, we only have a small handful. Handful, apologies. And Electro, we mostly have DPSs, sub-DPSs, and batteries. The only technically shielder we have would be Beto. But aside from that, Dendro doesn't have much for that. Animo's another element that does not have shields. They mostly have healer, debuffers, and DPSs. Then when it comes to Cryo and Geo, Geo tends to have, like, what? Maybe one, two, maybe three shielders. 
and for what was the last one? Cryo? I think we only have two. Which would be Diona and uh what's her name? Layla. Oh wait, no, supposedly Kaya has a shield at C four or five. But oh well. So I'm kinda curious what they're gonna do with the guy. Since apparently the dude's gonna be somewhat of a DPS, but then he's a four star, so he's gonna obviously be what you call it, outmatched when it comes to the others. So I think if he does become a shielder, that's gonna be pretty cool. Or he can be the debuffer just in case if Baiju isn't a debuffer and he's just 100% a healer, then I guess he can work as a debuff. But then if he does end up doing that, then he might end up being a niche character. When I mean niche, I mean like good, or I should say average, but is good or is very slightly good or like great with like, I don't know several constellations or maxed out constellations that's when they're like really good and whatnot because that's how it's been since what i believe tome has been released then again there's shang ling no not shang ling uh shang yang the pyro claymore girl she's technically a, she's supposedly uh she's supposed to be a shielder but then at the her like kit isn't that good her shields are not very good but then again it's all depends on how you build her but then after that there's toma who's also a shielder then there's layla layla's pretty good and then they released goro which he i made a video not too long ago about him when it comes to their niche but they're good at niche in a sense which I hope he kind of avoids, but at the same time, I can expect seeing it too. Because Goro, he mostly boosts uh, Geo. And then there's Furazan, I think, who only boosts just the Animo. Then there's Kujo Sara, who only boosts Electro. So I kind of hope he doesn't fall into that and mostly boosts like Dendro Reactions. But then again, if you're still boosting Dendro Reactions, you're still doing pretty good. But even then, I just hope his potential is not locked behind Constellations. But knowing Mahoyo, it might end up falling into that. But speaking of, I forgot to mention, I didn't really see the thing until afterwards. But what, there's one giant wrong thing here cryo these two deal with cryo oh by the way the other semi niche character shinha or shin he i'm gonna go with shinha but what does she work with cryo and cryo alone she boosts cryo damage obviously we have ayaka over here who's a cryo dps and then we have him who boosts physical and that's where I'm confused. I'm like, what? Why are they putting a physical booster in a banner with two cryos? A cryo DPS and a cryo support. Slash could possibly be if you build her the way, that way, as a DPS. It's confusing. Plus, another thing is, I'm kind of salty. Eula's not here yet. I'm like one constellation away from like C16 or so I'm pretty excited. But it kind of sucks that he wasn't paired with Eula. Will I try to get him? Maybe? But if I do, I probably, I'm probably going to be wishing on Shinha's banner since I already have Ayaka C6. So, but anyways, for the next one. Wait, didn't he already have like his second rerun or am i just confusing him with someone else this is like a either his second or third rerun i'm pretty sure it might even be his third if i'm wrong apologies if not why but anyways i'm most likely going to be 
I have the one copy I care for this guy. I mostly wanted one copy at the very least. Character design, I really like it. And then there's the elephant in the room. Many people have been bashing on Dea or Dia, but uh, when she came out, I was pretty excited. Or when she showed up, I should say. I was extremely excited to see, but uh, and that's when they were like, oh yeah, by the way, this is her kit. And it's like, uh, she's like a tank. But in Genshin, you'd really need a tank. You just need one, a healer, or two, a shields. shielder. But, oh well, we'll see what happens. Maybe she'll bring something later down the line. She might work with Fontaine characters. And everyone's going to be like, whoa, she's really good. Because they ended up having that whole similar situation with, I believe, Yaimiku, who needed EM. And many people were like, why does Electra need EM? Then they released Dendro. And not only did Yaimiku get a boost... Kaching also got a boost. So before, Kaching wasn't that good. But now with the danger reactions and whatnot, it might be pretty good. But then we'll have to see what type of characters are released over there in Fontaine and see what happens. Because she might be one of the few characters that will only work with future characters, perhaps. But I hope I'm wrong. Or they give her, like, touch up her kit more and try to improve a few things but we'll have to see will i get her though yes waifu over meta all the way well almost all the way at the very least there's some situations where i'm like eh, i'll have to pass but we'll see what happens also they could switch sino for yula and then put mika on this banner but oh it's just me being salty yula's not having a rerun yet so Apologies about that. But that's that. We got two new characters. We got banners for 3.5. So we'll see what happens in the future. As well for events and the main story. Which... What's his name? Ah, uh, Dainsleeve shall be coming back. And apparently Kai is going to be involved in the story too. So... Kind of curious what their interaction towards each other is, because apparently Kaya is a descendant of Conria. And then, obviously, Dainsleeve is a soldier from Conria, so I kind of see the reaction. Or interaction, I should say. But, oh well, that's a little semi-summary of my own personal thoughts about this. I'm still 100% sure he's going to be a healer. And maybe a catalyst. But I'm pretty sure he's going to be a healer. If he's somehow a DPS, I, I won't be surprised. Uh, he's a mystery, but we'll have to wait and see. And then I already told you my thoughts on these two banners, but oh well. If you like, just let me know what your thoughts are in the comment. And if you, I guess, like the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Subscribing really helps out the channel a lot, so we'll see what happens. So until next time, later nerds, and take care.